I started off this week or weekend going upstate for my brother's birthday. I took the train up and met up with my dad and we went to my cabin and it was just so, so needed. I've been feeling really unsettled lately and trying to figure out what is best for my future and what I really want and how I want to get there. So it's been overwhelming and just dealing with anxiety on top of that. So I got away for the weekend and went and spent some time with family and just recentered a bit. And it was so great to spend some time in nature and away from the hustle and bustle of the city. And it was just so beautiful and so, so needed. When I got back, I immediately jumped right back into work. I had a booklet due this week, so I printed that, and then I just spent some time on my computer getting work done. It's been a lot of work lately, and trying to balance my other interests with this, it feels like I need to invest all of my time and energy and be 100% invested in this field, and the truth is that I'm not. I have so many interests. I'm an artist. I'm an artist because I want to be free. I want to explore everything and it has just felt really limiting lately. And I don't know if that's a self-imposed limitation or limitation imposed by college or expectations. I'm just trying to figure out what's best and all of that. But yeah, just recentered, got a lot of work done this day. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of computer work and a lot of research, but it's okay. I'm trusting the process. I'm trying to learn to love this part of the process and know it's just all a part of the plan. Hi, good morning, happy Tuesday. It is 8.37. I need to leave in like three minutes to catch the subway to Manhattan for this field trip I'm going on, but I thought I'd give you a little fit check. We have my Liv Tie Art hat. We have this beautiful shirt I got from Pine Bones. They created it as a fundraiser for Maui and I'm so happy with this shirt. And then we just have my patchwork pants up in my foot. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to get going. My bag is so heavy and I'm going to be carrying this all day, but I literally have no other choice. So that's going to be interesting, but I'm excited for today. It's going to be fun. I think in between the field trip and my marketing class, I am going to go to Strand because I am doing a research project on bookstores. So I need some visual research. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's like on the way. It's kind of like a nice in between between the Lubavallen Center and my Manhattan class. So it'll work. I also need to get lunch and I need to study in between there, but we'll get it all done and I'm excited. So go along.
minutes after class now it's like two o'clock i had class and just got all my work done i got some amazing feedback on my booklet i'm really excited to like push it a little further i feel really good about it there's not like a ton i want to push but i'm working on more research for that uh, but now I have the rest of the day free. I was supposed to go do some work on my branding presentation, but plans fell through, so that's happening this weekend instead. So now I have a little more time to research and work on that stuff. Today, I really just want to be a work day. I kind of want to paint a little bit. I do really want to get a decent amount of work done on my projects. I also have tomorrow afternoon free to get everything done too. I want to try to get as much done within these next two days as I can. I really want to go to the gym, I want to go outside, I don't know, lots of fun things I want to mix in with there, but I do want to like put my head down and get some good workout and just kind of like really be in a solid place with everything. I already am on the way to be there, so I think if I just put a ton of work in today I can get there, but I do want to paint and maybe fit a stream in like today or tomorrow. Honestly, balancing everything this semester has been a lot different than the past few semesters. Uh, things are ramping up. I'm in my junior year and I did not realize how big of a difference there would be between sophomore and junior year. It's like, oh, I have two days off. Like, I'll be fine. I'll be able to manage everything. And I am. I'm really getting there. But it is a lot different, a lot more rigorous. And I've been struggling with that a lot because my business is my baby and doing these things I love is so important to me. But they are on the back burner right now for now. Like, it's only for another year and a half. But I've really been struggling with that. Um, but we're getting there and I'm trying to find a ways to mix in a little bit here and there. Obviously I'm still making videos and just trying to fit in things here and there as I can. It's not to the capacity I want it to, but I'm getting there and like that's the end dream, that's the goal and I will get there. I've been struggling with that, but we're feeling a lot better this week. So yeah, it's too- I'm gonna give myself a little break, watch some TV for a bit, just sit and relax and kind of plan out what I want to get done and then we're gonna get to it. Hi, so it's 5 p.m. now. I'm working still. I took a little break in between, like on and off. I like doing like bursts and then taking little breaks, but I'm currently working on a project that I want to show you. So for my integrated VizCom class, I'm doing my project semester long on the Stonewall Uprising. So I have three deliverables for this project. I have an animation, I have a digital piece, and I have a physical piece. So this is some of the stills for my animation. I'm just kind of working out fonts and stuff right now. I'm building it in Illustrator and then going to bring it into After Effects. I am hoping to get a lot of this done today so that I can start animating it tomorrow. And then I'm also working on a book cover. This is like my digital piece. Um, I'm really, really happy with this. I'm not set on the font. That was just kind of me messing around with things. I'm going to bring it into Illustrator to do the fonts, but the illustration's almost fully done other than like any critiques I get. Um, this is a picture of Stonewall like back in the like 60s or 70s. I put in pride flags that weren't there just to bring some like tie-ins to present day because actually Stonewall doesn't look like this right now, but there's an article called Full Moon Over Stonewall that I really, really liked. I think it's just very poetic. So I decided to make that the title and yeah, it's been really fun. Hi, hello, good morning. It is not morning, it's actually noon now, but it is Friday, my Saturday basically, but I'm going to the Brooklyn Museum. I have an assignment where I have to like reimagine an exhibit in a feminist lens. So there's an exhibit I want to check out in Brooklyn Museum that's actually closing in two days, so this is a perfect time to go. So I'm gonna go there and I'm actually gonna walk. You can actually see the Brooklyn Museum from my window. It's that little dome. I mean, like, it's a bit of a hike. It's, like, a little over a mile and a half, but I really want to walk. It'll be fun. The bus, like, ends up taking, like, the same amount of time because of stops and traffic and stuff, so, like, I think it's worth it to walk. Um, so, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. And then after, I'm meeting some friends for Hot Pot, which I've never had before. So I have my little bag. I have some goodies in there, like a book and a sketchbook and stuff in case there's, like, laps of time between the museum and seeing my friends. But yeah, I'm very excited. So, come on. <laughs> currently heading out. It is a miserable, rainy, gloomy day, but I'm going out to do some brand research for a project, so I'm headed to Manhattan for that. 
Yay.